I'm Forrest Saunders at the Capitol. There are now, count them, three Florida men vying for the White House in 2024. Miami Mayor Francis Suarez officially jumping into the race Thursday morning. I have always been a runner. Thursday, in a literal ad about running, Miami's GOP Mayor Francis Suarez said he's running for the White House. My dad taught me that you get to choose your battles, and I am choosing the biggest one of my life. I'm going to run for president. I'm going to run for your children and mine. And as the ad went live, so did the candidate. He told Good Morning America he can unify the country and suggested former President Donald Trump's handling of classified documents was wrong. It's not what I would have done. I would have turned over the documents, but if I were the former vice president uh, and then the current president, I wouldn't have stored uh, classified documents in my, in my uh, garage either. Suarez is a controversial figure in Republican politics. <laughs> In 2018, he voted for Andrew Gillum over Ron DeSantis. He didn't support Trump in 2016 or 2020. He's also drawn fire for crossing swords with the governor over COVID, Suarez wanting a mask order. I've, I've uh, tried to reach him uh, on multiple occasions to tell him to give us the opportunity, not just here at the city, but in the county, to be able to institute things that we think are common sense, that we think are backed up by science. News of his candidacy drew crickets from the DeSantis and Trump campaigns. However, U.S. Rep. Carlos Jimenez, a Trump supporter, called Suarez a fraud on Fox News. He's a ceremonial mayor of the city of Miami. He has very, very little power. He got elected by a total of 20,000 people. Political pundits say Suarez brings youth and a Hispanic voice to a large list of GOP nominees. But some think Suarez is really in it for a VP or cabinet pick. Professor Sean Foreman thinks the mayor does want the White House, just not yet. That's probably the move for Francis Suarez is to raise his national profile now and perhaps run again in 2028 or 2032. In the meantime, the addition of Suarez to an already crowded field likely further splits the vote, benefiting one Florida man, the former president, still polling in the lead. Suarez is expected to give his official announcement speech later this evening in California. He'll be speaking at 6 o'clock Pacific time at the Reagan Library. That's the latest out here at the Capitol. I'm Forrest Saunders reporting.